for having me. Jared, thank you so much for coming on News Track this morning. Let, let's say we've, we've, we've got several reports, but what actually happened? Uh, did the NYLC official, uh, the who died of COVID-19, did he really die at the NYC, NYC camp in, in Kano? So you shed more light and tell us exactly what happened. Yeah, thank you very much. I thank you for giving me the opportunity to clear the air. First and foremost, it's not true that the, uh, the, uh, the staff died in camp. In line with the PTF and the NCDC guideline, all prospective camp members and camp officials that are invited for the orientation exercise were tested. It is mandatory that all must be tested. And only those that are negative that are allowed into the camp. And those that are positive are taken away by the NCDC and state health officials for treatment. And that was what happened. The staff concerned, just like all the prospective coming mass account officials, underwent tests. And when it was possible, he was taken away by the NCDC to the Kano State Isolation Center. And that was where, unfortunately, he, he passed on, not in the camp. I have used this uh, in every forum, either through PTF or an NCDC uh, press briefing. I have used the opportunity to clear the air that only those that are negative are permitted in camp. When people report that, Social number of core members in camp test positive. I say it's not true. Only those that are negative are in camp. Those that are positive are taken away by the NCDC. And I'm happy to tell Nigerians that they so far will never recorded any fatality amongst our core members and staff, except for this one. And this one happened not in the camp, but at the isolation center, but in Kano. Why do you think, General, that people are speculating, uh, if, I, if I may use that word, that uh, your official died in camp? Why do you, what do you think they will gain by saying that? I don't, honestly, it, uh, it begs my imagination. In every fora, just as I said earlier, I don't know what the problem is. In every fora, I kept explaining that, look, these are the guidelines as been as directed by the PTF and the NCDs, and we are following it strictly. I want you, I want Nigerians to know that it is not only the NYs that are running the orientation camp at the moment. NCDC is involved. In fact, I keep telling the NCDC uh, management that the Bongo orientation is an NCDC orientation. And you know, there's a difference between the way we operate. Our orientation is an enclosed one. It's an enclosed one. You know, and only those that are negative, that are in camp. So when press keep reporting, the social number of core members tested social number in the uh, test positive in camp. It's not true. Please, Nigerians should get to know. So I don't know what people will start to gain in trying to, to, to bring all sorts of false information. Go to our, visit our camps. We were the first agency that went to the NCDC to see how to give them our modalities for reopening of camps. And they look at it critically along the PTF, and this is the approval was granted by the federal government. And the approval was not granted, but with the, with the understanding of the COVID-19 by the scientists and also the introduction of the RDT test kits. And this is what we use. And all these things were provided by the NCDC. Our core members were trained in, in all of this. And except you are negative, you will not be permitted to come. I'm sure you must have seen, uh, I've visited more than seven camps. And I'm tested along with my officials. National Assembly members that visit our camps on our oversight function were also tested. National Governing Board members who visit our orientation camps are also tested. I'm happy to also, I'm sure which you are aware, Channel, uh, Channel visited our camp in Lagos. And they also underwent the same test, uh, uh, screening. So I don't know. So please, Nigeria should get to understand and disregard this falsehood. That all right, all right, bring it. One before it was and so on. All right, staff, uh, none of our staff died in the camp. Please. All right, General, uh, just before I let you go, uh, in spite of what the story may be, whether the person died in camp or the person, the, the individual involved died outside the camp, uh, I'm sure people are a bit scared, people are worried, there are concerns um, within the camp, I mean, officials as well as maybe uh, the core members. What assurances are you giving to them uh, in, the, in the event of this, uh, as a result of this event that occurred uh, in Kano? I cannot, if not for the publication, even the, even the comment members in camp and our, our camp officials are not aware because they are in camp. It's because uh, the thing came out in media and we also issued a, 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 a statement yesterday over it. That's why they got to know and saw it on the social media. Even though they are not aware, 
because they are in camp, it's like a, an isolation center. They are secluded there. And only those that are negative are in the camp. So they don't even know what is happening outside. You cannot come out of the camp. If anybody goes out of the camp and return, you'll be subjected to under test. So I want to appeal to Nigerians to have faith in, the, in what we are doing. And that the orientation is run both by the NYC and the NCDs as well as the PTF. We adhere strictly to the guidelines. You will all recall that NYC core members were involved in the fight against COVID-19. And they know what it takes. We produce, these core members produce sanitizers, eh, face masks, disinfectant soap, carry that sensitization to Nigerians in the market, uh, marketplace, offices, and so on, on the safety protocols of the COVID-19. So our core members or the NYC that take safety first will not compromise on this, on both our core members and staff. So please, and I want to also appeal that they should always clarify from the NYC before they go to the press on issues of this matter to avoid sending panic uh, panic and also confusion in our orientation camps. All right, General, thank you so much for joining us on News Track this morning. We thank you for your time. I appreciate Thank you for giving me this opportunity. All right, Brigadier General Shoaib Ibrahim is the Director General of the National Youth Service Corps.